please do look at the top center anytime you want to find out latest Fukushima updates right at the top center. I include a lot of different types of material there. And on the right column is a total archive going back four and a half years. So it's, it's all there for you. And every Monday, the third hour, we try to bring you the latest. Uh, Jim is on it. That's great you did a two-hour program. It, it's so important. You, you go up to somebody on the street, Preston, an average person, an, an adult, and you say, Wait, what's, do you know what the latest on Fukushima is? <laughs> and 90% of them will say, Fuka what? They don't Actually, know. They know over nothing. Over the years, I've done four or five of these two-hour shows, Jeff, maybe yeah. even more. Good. But I did recently up the ante. I had a two-hour show a couple weeks ago, and then I felt that wasn't sufficiently detailed and precise, so I brought in Dennis to do more quantification in terms of the analysis, which right. but it, it's, it's just so devastating. It's horrible. Well, let me ask you this. Is it... Is is this an ex, a potential extinction level event? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're to- absolutely. totally there, uh, Preston. Totally, not absolutely. a total extinction, but when you have imagine a chain, a chain is made of links, and when the links start to disappear, it only takes the loss of one link, and you no longer have a chain. All right, we've lost many links, and so we have a pile of links on the ground that are no longer in a cohesive fashion stuck together like a chain so the chain has been irrevocably broken and your answer yes extinction level events are actually going on right now they can't find any herring in the pacific ocean they're gone it, they're just it has gone to do with the, the chain of life because higher species feed on lower and lower and lower exactly and eventually you get down to algae and plankton but even the algae and plankton are being destroyed i mean everything at a higher level is destined for extinction once you have annihilated any level at the great chain. You're, you're correct. You're correct. All right, we have to do a little shorty here. We'll come back in just a couple minutes. Okay, and we're back with Preston James and Professor James Fetzer. Uh, this upcoming Olympics competition in Japan is insanity. They are going to hold much of that right in Tokyo Bay, where they've been dumping all of this ash from their municipal incinerators, uh, dumping other waste. Uh, the, the radioactivity there is uh, unacceptably high, to put it mildly. Yoichi's been over there. He's tested it. He's gone around and around and around and around. He said it's ludicrous. It's absurd. The athletes are going to get sick. Some are going to die. Not necessarily at the games, but they're going to pick up the radionuclide inhalation. They're going to eat the food count on it. Japanese food is wonderful. Don't worry, we feed you. You'll be very happy. Uh, meanwhile, Shinzo Abe may or may not be around for the Olympics. They say he is bleeding from every orifice now. Oh, God. And, and imagine, uh, r- recently they were worried about E. coli in the in, in Rio de Janeiro. I mean, compare the E. coli threat with the radionuclides. I mean, it's astounding, of Jeff, course, that they would even of think of doing this. I mean, no. let's talk about an ostrich Well, policy. it's part of the denial. It's part it's, of the whole it's denial thing. It's completely insane. It's yeah. completely insane. Part but of the denial. If you have the American government not even mm-hmm. talking about it, raising the levels of acceptable exposure to radioactivity, I mean, you know, wh- who is responsible? I mean, it's like all of our leaders have abdicated every moral principle, every legal obligation to the citizens they lead. It's r- ridiculous. Preston, go ahead. Well, the the bottom line is we have an establishment that's in control. The word establish is exactly what they're doing. They have the power to establish any policy they want. So you have a handful or less, maybe two or three or four top policymakers. We all know who they are. We don't need to mention their names and bring extra heat right now. But these policy, top policymakers, they get some little uh, thought in their head. Gee, uh, I want to set this new policy up for Homeland Security. Uh, for example, if there's a car accident, and someone's killed, they have a new policy where they block off the highway on both sides for the afternoon for a complete investigation. Right. Basically, they want to <clears throat> screw the average uh, That's true. Consumer. They can move that stuff out of the way and carry on yeah. their investigation without doing that. Just slow everyone down, keep the traffic moving. No, they stop it. 
Oh, yeah. That came from one person, one top policymaker, because everything's organized in a big hierarchy with one or two guys at the top. They make an edict that goes down. Every police chief, you know, jumps on the bandwagon and Homeland Security. This is just the way we do things, yeah. you know. And, you know, like if somebody moves while you tell them to stand still with your gun on them, you shoot them. doesn't matter in the front, the back, whatever. That's a new policy. You well, they, yeah, they do not have clock. a shoot-to-wound yeah. policy yeah. and haven't for years. It's a shoot-to-kill uh, right. Dead witnesses don't make uh, very good appearances in court. Uh, that's the truth. Kill them. But you empty your Glock. You know, boom, did, boom, 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 did boom, you boom, see you, that yeah. poor guy that came out of the house? You know, people get in arguments. So the wife calls 911. My husband's yelling at me. He's threatening. Nah, nah, nah. So the cops come. The guy comes out in front of his house. You, did you see the video? A second video showed it. up today. I saw it. Yeah, yeah the guy has his hands up in the air, straight over his head. They just they just executed him. Yeah. Simple. No no uh, mistake. They executed him on the spot. Because they know they're not going to be held accountable. Very rarely do you see a cop get charged with murder. It doesn't, just doesn't happen. Well, Administrative right. leave with pay. Uh, full investigation has found the officer felt his life was in danger. Yeah, this guy's hands. He's got no shirt on. No, no visible. He's got a pair of shorts on. <laughs> His hands are over his head, and he posed a threat to their life and wellness. Good oh, God. Yeah. Here's the very worst part of all this, Jeff, is is the police are being set up. They've been mind-controlled through their radios. Their, where have, they been, where have they been trained? Where have their right. chiefs been trained? Israeli anti-terror forces. But here's the key. Here's the key. Now you have covert operators. Some of them are trained in Israel, Mossad agents. Some of them are FBI Division 5. They're going out and they're sniping police. They're going to kill police to try to start a civil war. To Then, of course, they can, you know, only the government can solve such a big problem. And institute right. draconian UN gun laws. It's pretty sick when you have covert operators going around and shooting, and the police that they're shooting are the good guys, too. They're not shooting the bad guys that have 13 to 15 kills under their belt. They're going for the family guy with four kids, and, and they're going to take him out. They're going to shoot him in the back. You're going to see all kinds of these covert operator assassinations in the next year, all kinds of them. And I predicted this a couple of years ago, Professor Fester, as you remember. Oh, I know. I know. You've been right on, Preston. I've, it's been uncanny. <laughs> So these police have been set up. I feel sorry for them uh -huh. because they're know, going to be sacrificed. They sacrifice anybody. They don't care. No, they don't. They don't. Made but no Jeff, difference. this the, the, the ability to control the public um, consciousness through the control of the major mass media. It's a news cartel run by, you know, six kingpins who all work for a large investment firm. We won't mention the name, but most people know. And and when you have a hierarchy of news control with one or two key people setting the talking points and the policies every day. This has been a total mind control program for over 50 years. And it really started with the advent of the Federal Reserve, where they could print all the money they wanted and buy up everybody and control everybody. And now we have a Congress where everybody except for one member of Congress, um, Walter Jones, a black congressman, is the only one that didn't sign the APEC loyalty oath to Israel. Everybody else signed it. Cynthia McKinney refused to sign it. And look what happened to her. Uh, beam yeah. me up, Scotty. Uh, Traficant refused to sign it. Uh, uh, who's the other guy that was just lost? Kucinich. Kucinich refused to sign it. So anybody that refused to sign Did it. Did Kucinich die? No, but he refused no, no, to no, sign no, it. Got, he was, got, he got lost the election. out of Congress. I got it. But, but, of course, Cynthia McKinney was the first one that dared talk about it publicly. Yeah. Traficant, many believe that the Mossad murdered him. Well, that was a bizarre uh, accident in a barn. A tractor fell on him or oh, something. No. I mean, come on. Uh, John Deere tractors or any tractor, they so don't jump on people. We have Congress right now, sadly, is functioning as a foreign embassy for Israel and for the Rothschild, Kazarian banksters. In That's the city perfectly one. said and very important for people to remember. Congress is functioning as an agent of Israel. Until that exactly changes, 
Until that changes, we're going to have all these wars. We're going to have all these dead and wounded Americans and millions of innocent people knocked out of their homes and, and blown to pieces. It has this 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 Rothschild, Kazarian mafia, bankster, Israeli war machine. It has to stop. And we got to route these Israeli American, Israeli first dual citizens out of our government. We got to de- deport them all back to. They love Israel so much. Good. Sign, they have to either reject their citizenship to Israel. They can never hold political office again. I say the people in, involved either jail the ones involved in 911, the rest of them deport them all. If they want, if they love it so much, take off back to your home. It's, it's practically miraculous that, that we have 34 Democratic senators who are going to stand up for the Iran deal because the merits of the Iran deal are overwhelming. But the furiousness of the oppo- opposition that's inspired by Israel because it doesn't want to have Iran exerting more influence to dispute its control of the Middle East, which it aspires to dominate from the Tigris-Euphrates to the Nile, is simply overwhelming. I, I mean, I on television, we're still seeing one bizarre, misleading attack on the Iran deal, the picture of the Ayatollah Khomeini, who is supposed to be, you know, out to build nukes. Iran doesn't even want nukes. Their their policy is nuclear energy for all, right. nuclear weapons for none. And that is their policy. And to stay that way, too. Uh, some of the uh, new levels of safe radioactivity in our drinking water are up to 100,000 times higher than they were. This is uh, iodine-131, for example, and there are who, hundreds who of those? nuclides. Who, did the EPA set those? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's, they revised them and revised them, Jim. They but that's, that's them. They criminal. Them up and up and up. That's criminal negligence, isn't it? No, it's uh, genocide. Uh, here's the story. Let's see. Hold on. The EPA maintains a set of so-called protective action guides, PAGs. These PAGs are being quickly revised upwards to radically increase the allowable levels of iodine-131, for example, a radioactive isotope, to anywhere from 3,000 to 100,000 times the currently allowable so-called safe level of exposure in your drinking water. All right. Everybody better be taking iodine then if it's going to, I mean, that's the first place it goes is your thyroid, isn't it? Yep. Yep. They don't worry so much about it because that's a 32-day half-life or something. So in, in what, six <laughs> months it's gone. 